Hello friends, in this part, we will learn, how to add or insert, new academic year data, into my SQL database, by using PHP script, under this, student fees management system project. In previous part, we have seen, how to fetch academic year data from my SQL table, and load in jQuery data tables. By using PHP script, and jQuery data tables library, so if you have not seen that part, so first watch that part. Now we have to open, academicyear.php file, and under this file, we want to make link, for open add academic year page. So by click on that link, admin can reach, create academic year web page, for add new academic year data, under this system. So for this, here we have to write, anchor tag, with href attribute is equal to, academicyear.php file. After this, we have to write, question mark, with action variable is equal to add. And under anchor text, we have to write add, so by click on this link, admin can open add academic year form. Now here, we have used same page for add, update and list academic year data, on the same web page. So for this, here we have to write, if statement and under condition, we have to write is set function, and under this function, we have to write, dollar get action variable. So if this variable value set, then it will execute, this if block of code. And in else block, we will display academic year data, in jQuery data table library, so here we have use, same page for different use. Now under this block, we have again write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Dollar get action variable value is equal to add, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. Now under this block, we have paste, this HTML code, so it will make blank template, for add academic year data, which will be display, on web page. So here, we have to refresh this page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that Add button has been appear, on the web page. So here, we have to click, on this button. So after click on button, here we can see that, Add academic year data area display, on the web page, and now we want to make form, for add new academic year data. So here, we have create one form tag, with method attribute is equal to post. Now for select start year, so here we have to create, one select tag. With name attribute is equal to, academic start year, and class is equal to form control. Now we want to fill this select tag, with year option, so for this here, we have to write. For loop, and under condition, we have to write, $i variable is equal to, php date function, with year. So here, we have set $i variable value, with current year value, after this, we have to write. $i variable value is less than, the value of current year value, plus 5. And $i variable value is increment by 1, so it will produce, next 5 year option box. Now for print year option, so here, we have to write, php echo statement, with option tag. In value attribute we have to write, $i variable, and in option text also, we have to write, $i variable value. After this, for select start month, so here also we have to create, another select box. So here we have to write, select tag, with name is equal to, academic start month, and class is equal to, form control. Now we want to fill this select box, with list of month, so for this, we have goes to, database connection.php file. And here we have to write, dollar month array variable is equal to, list of month. So here, we have store month, under this variable in an array format, and we will use this array, for fill month select box. So here in academic year.php file, we have to write, for loop, and under condition, we have to write. 
dollar i variable value is equal to 0 after this dollar i variable value is less than the value of ehp count function and under this we have to write dollar month array variable and dollar i variable value is increment by 1 so on every interval it will list month option under this select box so here we have to write php echo statement with option tag and now in value attribute we have to write dollar month array with dollar i variable index and in option text we have to write dollar month array with dollar i variable as index After this, we want to create another select box for select end year data. So here we have to write select tag with name is equal to academic end year and class is equal to form control. Now we want to fill this select tag with year option. So for this here we have to write for loop and under condition we have to write dollar i variable is equal to php date function with year plus one so here we have set dollar i variable value with current year value and after this we have to write dollar i variable value is less than the value of current year value plus six and dollar i variable value is increment by one so it will list next five year option box After this, for select end month, so here also, we have to create, another select box. So here we have to write, select tag, with name is equal to, academic end month, and class is equal to, form control. Now we want to fill this select box, with list of month, so for this, here we have to write. For loop, and under condition, we have to write, dollar i variable value is equal to 0. Dollar i variable value is less than, the value of, total index of, dollar month array variable. And dollar i variable value is increment by 1, so on every loop, it will list month option, under select box. Now for submit form data, so here we have to write, input type is equal to submit. With name is equal to add academic year, and in value attribute, we have to write add, so by click on this button, we can submit form data. So here our form is ready, now we have goes to, php code part, and here, we have to create. One dollar error variable is equal to blank value, so under this variable, we will store validation error. Below this, we have to write, if statement and under condition, we have to write. php is set function, and under this function, we have to write, dollar post, add academic year variable. So if this variable value is set, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, dollar form data variable is equal to an array, and under this variable, we will store form data. Now first, we want to validate, academic start year field data, so here we have to write, if statement. And under condition, we have to write, php empty function, and under this, function, we have to write, dollar post academic start year variable. So this condition will check, if this variable has blank value, then it will execute, if block of code. And here we have to write, dollar error variable, and here we have to append, error message like, start year is required. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute, else block of code, and under this block. We have to write, dollar form data academic start year variable is equal to, dollar post academic start year variable. After this, we want to validate, academic start month field data, so here we have to write, if statement. And under condition, we have to write, php empty function, and under this function, we have to write, dollar post academic start month variable. 
So it will check, if this field has blank value, then it will execute, if block of code, and here we have to write dollar error variable and in this variable we have to append error message like start month as required but suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have to write dollar form data academic start month variable is equal to dollar post academic start month variable after this we want to validate academic end year field data so here we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write php empty function, and under this function, we have to write dollar post academic end year variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have to write dollar error variable, and here we have to append error message like end year is required. But suppose we have select academic end year field, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have to write. Dollar form data academic end year variable is equal to dollar post academic end year variable. After this, we want to validate academic end month field data. So here we have to write if statement. And under condition, we have to write php empty function. And under this function, we have to write dollar post academic end month variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And here we have to write dollar error variable and here we have to append error message like end month as required but suppose we have select academic end month field then it will execute else block of code and here we have to write dollar form data academic end month variable is equal to dollar post academic end month variable so here we have store form data under dollar form data variable now we want to check any validation error occur or not so for this, here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, dollar error variable is equal to, blank value. If this condition true, that means, there is no any validation error has been occurs, and now we have to proceed, for insert data. So before inserting of data, first we want to check, particular academic year data already exists, in our database or not. So for this, here we have to write, dollar $query variable is equal to, select star from academic year table. Where academic start year is equal to, dollar form data academic start year variable. And academic start month column value is equal to, dollar form data academic start month variable value. And academic end year column value is equal to, dollar form data academic end year variable value. And academic end month column value is equal to dollar form data academic end month variable value. And academic year status column value is equal to enable. So this query will check academic year data exists or not in academic year table. Now below this query, we have to write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method. And under this method, we have to write dollar query variable. So it will make query for execution. Now for execute query, so here we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method. After execute query, now we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write dollar statement variable with row count method, which return number of row affected after above query execution and it must be greater than zero. If this condition true, that means academic year data already exists in database and it will execute if block of code. And here, we have to write dollar error variable is equal to error message like academic year data already exists. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code. And here, we have to write insert data code. So here, we have to write dollar data variable is equal to an array. In array first key, we have to write double colon academic start year, and in value, we have to write dollar form data academic start year variable. In array second key, we have to write double colon academic start month, and in value, we have to write dollar form data academic start month variable. In array third key, we have to write double colon academic end year, and in value, we have to write dollar form data academic end year variable. 
In array fourth key, we have to write double colon academic end month, and in value, we have to write dollar form data academic end month variable. In array fifth key, we have to write double colon academic year status, and in value, we have to write enable. And in array last key, we have to write double colon academic year added on, and in value, we have to write php time function. So here, we have store all data under this array variable and now we want to write insert data query. So here we have to write dollar $query variable is equal to insert into academic year table with table column like academic start year, academic start month, academic end year, academic end month, academic year status and academic year added on and values get from double colon academic start year, academic start month, academic end year, academic end month, academic year status and academic year added on. Now below this query, we have to write, dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method and under this method, we have to write, dollar query variable, so it will make query for execution. And now for execute above insert query, so here we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method. And under this method, we have to write dollar data variable, so it will execute above insert query and insert data into my SQL academic year table. Now after inserting data, we want to redirect web page to list of academic year data, so for this, here we have to write header function and under this we have write location which is set to academic year dot php file with question mark and message variable is equal to add so it will redirect web page to this url and now first we want to display validation error so here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar error variable value is not equal to blank so if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and here we have to write php echo statement with dollar error variable so it will display validation error on the web page same way we want to display success message so here we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write php is set function, and under this function, we have to write dollar get message variable. If this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have to write if statement, and under condition, we have to write dollar get message variable value is equal to add. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here, we have to write php echo statement with success message like new academic year data added so this message will be display on the web page so here our code is ready now want to check output in the browser so friends here first we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page here we can see that add new academic year form has been display on the web page and now first want to check validation error so here, first we have directly click on add button, so after click on the add button. Here we can see that, validation error has been display on the web page and now we want to check. Academic year data already exists validation is working or not, so here we have to select 2022 in start year. June month in select start month, 2023 in end year and end month, we have select May. After this, we have click on add button, so after click on the add button, here we can see that. Academic year data already exists message has been display, that means this validation is also working properly. Now one by one, we have select start year, start month, end year and end month data. And after this, we have to click on add button, so after click on the add button, here we can see that. New academic year data has been added, in this fees management system, so here we can see, latest added academic year data, on the web page. So in this part, we have learned, how to add new academic year data, into this fees management system, by using PHP script, with MySQL database. In next part, we will show you, how to edit or update existing academic year data, under this fees management system, so we will be meet, in next part.